sharp contrast to their depression when the East Berlin border was closed, West Berliners are in a gala mood as they greet President Kennedy's emissary to that beleaguered city, Lyndon Johnson. The Vice President brings a firm pledge that the United States will never abandon West Berlin to communist threats or aggression. He is almost mobbed by the 100,000 people who line the streets despite the rain to cheer him on his eight-mile trip from the airport to City Hall. There are more cheers from 300,000 in front of City Hall as Mr. Johnson declares that freedom can prevail and peace can endure. He addressed a message to the people of East Berlin, telling them that the days of tyranny are numbered. Cheers for the vice president's statements were loud and prolonged. They were reassured that the United States was a friend that would stand true. If the vice president's visit raised the spirits of West Berliners, the arrival of additional U.S. troops bolsters their morale even higher. Soldiers of the 1st Battle Group of the 18th Infantry are greeted with cheers, flowers, and tears. The 1,500 men will reinforce 5,000 U.S. troops who garrison the city, along with 6,000 French and British. Mr. Johnson later reported to the President that the explosive East-West situation is a real threat to peace but that the ties between Germany and the U.S. have never been stronger. These pictures prove his contention that free peoples will let nothing daunt them in holding dear the freedom that the communists would end in West Germany.